Hi, Brett here from Prestige Paint and Equipment. Here to show you how to set up your brand new GYS 100R inverter spot welder for the first time. After you've assembled the machine, you need to plug in the air into the back of the machine here and turn the machine on down here at the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker doubles up as an on off switch. Allow a minute or so for the machine to go through its paces and once it has set it up itself internally the screen will look exactly like this. Press your mode button once that will stabilize the screen. Then select your steel thickness. Steel thickness for most smash repairs is around the one mil mark. So you just press on the positive button here one, two, give you the one mil. Next one down you scroll down with the down button and you select the steel you're going to weld. Acia is French for mild steel. Next one along is high string steel. The next one along is ultra high string steel. Leave this setting on the machine all the time, whether you're welding normal steel or ultra high string steel or high string steel. Leave this one on, the, on that setting only. The next one down is your arm length and type. This particular gun this one here, is the X gun with 120 millimeter arms. Again, on the positive side, just scroll through till you get to X 120 millimeters. Okay? Your machine is now ready to spot weld. To spot weld, hold your thumb on the top button until the weld is finished. I'll do another one on the top button. You'll see the size of the nugget, a good six or seven millimeter. On the screen now, we'll say the weld has performed as required and has OK on the screen. The bottom button on this machine, on this gun, is for jaw opening. The top button is for jaw closing. All right. Now. To use the single side gun, there's nothing to plug in, it is permanently connected all the time. So let's look at the screen here a minute. You press your button, press your trigger on the single side gun, once it will light the screen up and recognize that it's ne you now want to use the single side gun. Again, pick your steel thickness, one millimeter is the only one to use. Down the bottom, on the negative button, so you get to mono point, you now can use the single side gun. To go back to the double side gun, it's as simple as pressing the top button once, the screen will light up and recognise that the double side gun is now in use. All your previous settings have been saved. Enjoy your GIS 100R spot welder, a magnificent machine.